Daytime. Um, it is March 20. You know what? Let's do this instead. There you go. And there's a crack on the screen from dropping the thing. Alrighty. What? Focus. You're supposed to focus. Okay. Now, the SR1030, as I said in my live stream, is getting a new engine. If I don't knock the scooter down in the process. Yeah, the shop's getting cleaned up because the truck out there is going to come in and get some stuff done. Um, but yeah. This is the replacement for the Tenomorphs. I know nothing about it at all. Except for that, it the little wrench fail. I know nothing about this thing at all. There's that. There's a sticker somewhere on it. Oh, it's over here. There's a sticker with some stuff on it. I know nothing about this engine. Um, the only thing that I see that's dramatically wrong with it. I took the valve cover off to uh, make sure everything was okay in there. The only thing I found wrong with it, and you ain't gonna be able to tell in the video. Let me change some settings. Hang on. Be right back. Alright, I have switched you guys around to a different HD setting. Um, the problem is, is that fluorescent light is doing that, by the way. Um, the problem is, is they there's dents here. I mean, you can. And uh, what I don't understand. Let me see if I can flip this this way. Yeah, I can't flip it on around. Um, here's some more stuff on it. I don't know what any of this means yet. I'm going to go home and research it, though. But uh, there's the numbers. Um, I don't understand why they just didn't take this plug out. I mean, that looks like either that or that's an oil pump there. Um, but we all know how to get these filters off easily. You will probably see a video of that happening. Let's continue on around the engine. It does have oil in it, but I'm going to drain it all anyway. So, See what they've done to the plug? Yep, they stripped it. I'm going to get that out. Maybe not on camera, but... uh. As far as everything goes, I mean, it's it's still a pretty tight engine. Uh, look at the starter on this thing. I, I've never seen, I've seen Kohler do this. But I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is a Kohler or not. It's... I'm going to show you guys. It's upside down to me, so... But for you guys, it'll be right set up. I mean, I don't understand what it is, what kind of engine this is. Um, the air filter, here's what the air filter looks like. Um, it's got some numbers written in it here. I don't understand that. Um, this is the filter it's got. It's been used, I mean, that's obvious. And the filters, now you can see light through it, so it's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't know the uh, deal on it was uh, it's a bought as his engine. Um, buy or buy at your own risk. So uh, I don't know. It's got good compression. Well, I mean, you gotta spin it fast because compression release, but uh, well, 
No idea. But, uh, I have a suspicious feeling, though, that the vat will come out easily. If I can find the ratchet. No, nah, they're all up the road. I ain't gonna with it. Um, but yeah, I'm moving some stuff. It's supposed to go on this. Um, this is, of course, being an SR10. You know, it's got the the tin horse on it. Um, I don't know what the generator engine is. I think that's a 11. No, yeah, it's an 11. It says on the pull color, the recoil start plate. Um, scooter. As you can see, no battery because it didn't hold charge. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the projects that's going on. And this sucker is heavy now. I mean, this is a heavy engine. So, what I've had, and it's been in here since who knows how long, is this little marvel. This is a chain hoist. Goes all the way up and is attached to a steel beam on the roof. Well, not on the roof. It's attached right up in there. You can kind of see right there is one of the attachment points. Right there. You can kind of see the steel beam it rides on. It rides on a steel I-beam. Um, that's one way to do it because it's heavy. And, well, I don't know what else to really show because I want to get all this done. And uh, the rod that's missing, it's a rod that's missing in this. It's not an E-clip or anything. It's a rod that's broke. I'd have to show it. And I ain't got one to show y'all on because they're all put up. But, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry it's a short video. But, uh, yeah, sure. Sorry about a short video because um, I'm been messing with this and it's friday night so i don't know if i'll do a live stream tonight back's hurting me right now which it always does i don't know if i'll do a live stream or not i might just do a quickie one um oh we got the harbor freight catalog we got to go through that so we might do that anyways don't forget to comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching And they say it's spring. <laughs> they say it is spring. Yeah, don't look it and it sure don't feel it with long sleeves on.